This video is made possible by AE Juice. I am using After Effects. If you have not installed After Effects yet, you can download it from the link in the description. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Liquid Bounce Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution and a frame rate of 30. Hit OK and then create a new solid layer and call it the background. You can use any color you want. Now make duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus D on your keyboard and call it Noise. Then go to the effects and the presets and search for the CC Starburst. Apply it onto the layer and let's adjust a few settings. First I need to change the color of it so I am going to apply some fill on it. Search for the fill and place it above the CC Starburst. Now change the color to white something like this and now you can see some stars on it. I will change the speed to 5 and then I am changing the scatter value to around 500. Let me keep the I think 850 is looking much better. Check the animation. Let me keep the value around 1200. Again go to the effects and the presets and search for the turbulent displays. Apply it right below the starburst and change the amount value to around 550 or you can go higher let me and this is how it looks now. You can also play with the size value to make it like this. Again go to the effects and the presets and search for the posterize time. Place it right below the turbulent displays and change the frame rate value to 10 or 8. I think 8 is looking much better and we have created this grunge type of background. You can also play with the scatter values as well as the size value. I think this is looking much better. I am keeping the size value to 60. Now go to the tools and select the text tool. Please note I am using this typo hoop demo font. You can download it from the link in the description. Now click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. I have added this word. You can use any word you want and align it to the center. Make sure the anchor point of this text layer is placed right at the bottom. If you have not, you can grab the anchor point tool and then press and hold the command or control key on your keyboard and align your anchor point right at the bottom of the layer. Now press S to open scale. Change the scale value to 70. I am keeping this size. Then go to the 2 second position and add keyframe on the position as well as the rotation. Press R for the rotation. Then go to the first frame position and press U to reveal all keyframes. Now change the Y position value to a lower number. Negative 200 will work. Then it will create this up and down type of animation. Also change the rotation value to negative 30 and it will add slight rotation in the text while it is coming down from the top. This is how it looks now. Not bad. Now grab the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard. If you select your text layer, you can see this motion path on the animation. This is the path which the motion follows. Of course, it is called motion path. In case you are not able to see this motion path, you can go to the edit and then preferences. Now choose the display. And now you can find this motion path option. Make sure you have selected all keyframes and then hit OK. If you still not able to see the motion path, make sure you have selected the text layer and then you will be able to see it. Now select the first keyframe and you will find this handle. Just play with it and you can change the motion path curve. Let's scroll down and change the motion path here as well. And this is how it looks now. It is like a Bezier tool. Check the animation and we have made this kind of animation just by using the motion path. This animation is looking pretty basic so we need to make it perfect. You can apply some bounce expression to it. I have made this free after effects script which is called the magic button. I made it using ChatGPT. You can download it from the link in the description. It is absolutely free. You just need to select the position keyframes and click on the bounce. And let me select the rotation as well and clicking on the bounce. This script just add the bounce expression in the selected property. You can see by pressing the double E on your keyboard, you can open the expression area. Of course, 
you don't need this script for adding the bounce expression you can simply copy and paste the expression from the internet you can download this script as well as the expression from the link in the description i am bringing the keyframe closer for increasing the animation speed and this is giving this kind of bounce effect you can always play with the motion path for getting a better look and also adjust the keyframe timing the faster the animation the more bounce it will create and i think i like this one you can go to the first frame and change the rotation value so that it won't start rotating from the beginning let me adjust the motion path and not bad now it really depends on your type of animation which kind of animation you want i am keeping this simple animation for the sake of this tutorial now turn on the motion blur by clicking on this icon if you are using the older version of after effects activate it from right here in case you are not able to see this switch tab here make sure right click on this area go to the columns and choose switches as well as the parents maybe we are going to use them now after checking the animation it is creating this kind of motion not bad now select both keyframes then press and hold the alt or option key on your keyboard and press it to the left for increasing the animation speed and it is looking much better now minimize all layers we don't need this script anymore so i'm going to close it let's add the liquid elements now go to the window and choose a juice pack manager i'm using this liquid element pack by a juice they have a bunch of packs which you can use in your project now this liquid element pack is really cool some of you might be thinking that i have included this paid plugin in the tutorial but don't worry they also have some great free liquid elements that work the same you can try the a juice and use them in your project they also have a bunch of packs which is totally insane all these packs are worth more than 8 grand but this holiday season you can get all of them in just 149 check the first link in the description and get the a juice pack now now for adding the liquid element is really easy you just need to select the animation which you like and then double click on it and it will place the selected element at the cursor location in the timeline now i like these elements i'm going to use them now adjust the location as well as the timing of the element i'm going to place this one right here i need to rotate this element at around 130 degrees and this is how it looks now let me adjust the bottom element as well make sure to adjust the timing for getting a perfect look you can also transform or scale rotate or anything you want and now we are done thank you for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next one till then good luck and peace